Hey guys, it's Lucas and we're back. Today we have another mission to top with this mulberry behind me. Alright, so here's the plan of these cuttings. Cut, cut them down to three nodes. And then I'm going to root them into these four cells. Try this out. These are a little bit higher. I don't have a shorter six cells, but we'll give this one a shot. And typically what I root, I take uh, three nodes. So one, two, three. Leave two on top. And then one, uh, one on the bottom. You cut around here. That's to determine where you, uh, which side goes down. <laughs> you can also tell when, where the buds go up. One, two, three. Let's just do four. Good measure on this one. Oh, wait. A little bit higher. I'll leave a little bit of space up top on this side. Where to, uh, and, and I like to do like an angle up a little bit. So I know this is the upside. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> but sometimes it can be hard to tell. One, two, three. It's getting dark. This is what I, we got left. You know, 30 or so thinner cuttings. Big boys. So I'm just going to do them up. Uh, get them in their, their cells. And then... Uh, the potting mix is just basically my own homemade top pot. Uh, I usually use perlite and peat moss, but I'm basically out right now. So I just want to get it done, and then we'll take a look once it gets bright. I've got these under an uh, avocado tree in the shade. We'll just wait now. Hopefully a couple weeks to a month, and they should be all set. These root very quickly. Green growth is good. Roots. Yeah. I got a bunch of cuttings here, but uh, that are rooting all mulberries. <laughs> but this is the uh, the one we did earlier. You can see a big fat root came out. So some of these mulberries root incredibly easily. Let's see. Green growth. We got the root. Sometimes you see them with green growth and uh, you get all excited. But that doesn't mean it's going to survive. You got to see roots. Roots are more important. And here's some of the other ones. They're all leafing out. These don't have see through containers. So you can't tell. ones with green growth are all basically successful at this point. I'm not seeing any roots, but I don't think it could sustain at this point without any roots. I'm going to let them grow in here and then uh, I'll pot them later on once these, they fill out in the four cells. Alright, it's been another month and these are basically good to go at this point. It's been really hot, so I've been neglecting them because I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> but they've had no issues surviving the heat. You know, I think most of these have survived. There's one that's that didn't. Yeah, another one. But I would say over 90% success right here. So let's pop one of these out and take a look at the roots. One of the thicker cuttings here, and you can see how the roots have uh, filled in the cup. Very nice. No, no real wiggle in here. It's this one's ready to go. Let's pop this one out. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. It's alive. You need some fertilizer. I 
maybe a bigger pot as well. They're really easy. Need some water too. <laughs> there you have it guys. There's uh, 50 new mulberry trees have been brought into this world. Very straightforward. I didn't do much but give them a little snip, put them in the soil, and just wait. This doesn't work for all trees or plants, but some specifically do really well. Figs do really well with rooting, and not all mulberries do, but this variety, these dwarf rabbit bearings, they're very easy to root. You know, I've documented like nine to 10 days to roots, so that's very fast. <laughs> these shouldn't have taken that long, but you know, it's, it got hot, so I don't know. I had to let them sit for a bit. You know, there's resources online where you can see how long some of these take to root. And just, I think the best one is Ding Dongs. And then you can also just do your own research to see which one's the best. But it's really easy. You know, if you ever wanted a ton of trees, you, mulberries are definitely the way to go. And figs. Figs are also very easy. So these are all going to be rootstock for me next year. I will have close to 100 mulberries at that point, And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But uh, I just got to have them. <laughs> So go ahead and give it a try. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks. Rules go wild. That's what they call me. I'm the man with a plan growing naturally. From the dirt to the table, it's a beautiful sight. Yeah, it grows gone wild. We're living it right.